What's up, guys, and welcome here to Crypto B. Today, I'm going to do a very interesting life for you guys. Um, talk about safety as well. Bring some crypto news, what's going on around the space, um, and talk a little bit about crypto wallets, places where you should be keeping your crypto safe, especially now in bear markets. Um, but let me just check here. Yes, I am on. Let me just check if my computer is on here. So I can hear when you come in to what you just show. I can also make sure that you are here. Um, let's just before I start. Um, let me put, let me put, let me put. Wait. Here. There. And we are good to go. Um, put this here as well. What's up? Okay, let's get into it. Um, turn here before anything, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, become part of the family here, help me to grow my community. Um, so first news um, of the day, let me put it here, let me bring this up. So on the Watcher News, Ripple XRP price, the, what does it mean for potential investors? We've seen a lot of things going around a Ripple at the moment. Ripple, Ripple XRP investors are curious about the coin potential with the current pattern of trade, of trade value. The XRP price shows us ascending triangle which hate, hints at bullish breakout income people are very um confident about crypto of course about uh, the xrp army you know there's a lot of people who trust and are very confident and bullish on the xrp i kind of like xrp as well it's just that being stagnant in that price for such a long time uh here since june xrp has produced higher lows and equal highs Anal analysts have used trend lines to forecast a potential 25 percent upswing coming soon this is de determined by adding the distance between the first swing high and swing low to the breakout point at 0 0.38 like i said before um i do like uh, xrp i'm not sure uh, where xrp will be going through for, uh, from here but i mean if that lawsuit um happens which seems to to have probably will happen within xrp um for xrp in xrp side i believe that it might be something very very good why ripple xrp is sitting at the bottom of that triangle as of writing, we can see bullish hints in the ascending triangle pattern. For investors looking to splash on Ripple, it's best to wait for a flip of the third, uh, the 34 cents hardly into a support floor. This type of market structure flip would create a higher high and shift the market structure favors the bulls. Additionally, it will also push buyers to start accumulating the rem remittance uh, token. In this case, investors can expect a ripple price makes a run for the immediate hardler at 36. Uh, interesting. I don't know how, how bullish you are in XRP, but it's a coin to keep your eyes on it, especially the the when the lawsuit things um get finalized. Uh, also Cardano, Cardano Vasio hard fork upgrade. Uh, release date. So the Cardano Vasio hard fork, I think I've done a, a video here on the channel um, on Cardano. So the Cardano Vasio hard fork upgrade finally has an official release date. The upgrade is one of the most important ones for the blockchain to date. According to input output of the Cardano Foundation, the Vasio hard fork upgrade is officially is scheduled for September 22. We have a lot of things actually happening in September. There is the marriage, which I will talk here about as well. Um, 
just the Cardano Vasco card for upgrade official schedule for the September 22, and we have the Cardano as well. So the Cardano Vasco upgrade will bring increased network capacity and lower cost transaction for Cardano. Additionally, according to input output, it will also bring enhancement to Plutus. This will enable devs to create more powerful and efficient blockchain-based application. Input output had to make sure that at least 75% of the mainnet blocks were being created with node version 1.35. Point three, in order to move forward with the upgrade. It also had to onboard roughly 25 exchanges that represent the lion's share of the ADA token liquidity, as well as the largest decentralized application by total value uh, locked. The Cardano Builder is now tracking well against all these metrics, hence why it's confident enough to officially confirm the date of the hard fork. The ADA token, it's already up 3.42% over the past 24 hours and may rise more than news, more, uh, more than news of the Cardano was release date. The Cardano Foundation has yet announced an exact time for the release. In fact, I didn't check the market. I'm just open here. Um, in, stay with me, because in the end of the video, not in the end of the video, after reading the news, I'm gonna go through um, some wallets for you, definitely for you to keep yourself safe out there. As we can see here, the global crypto market cap, it's a little bit under the $1 trillion, 93% uh, decrease over the last day. Um, here we have, we can see here, uh, we'll probably will see some rally on uptrend for Ethereum within the merge approaching. So let's see how they're going to play out. The gainers and losers. So the, the gainers, I file coins at 12% up Axie Infinite 6% up Litecoins uh, 5% up even ICPs up <laughs> Zcash 3% 3% Cardano 2% just talk about Cardano we might see a little rally on Cardano price because of the the news I just said you know about the release date of the about the upgrade um year finance 2% up dash 2% algorand at um one percent up kusama and some of the losers are one inch six percent down the last 24 hours nexo five percent helium uh helium is i think it's changing blockchain it's going to solana if i'm not wrong uh four percent down lido dao curve four percent down decreed four percent down flow three percent down cosmos um i also have a news in celsius celsius trying to to repay some, to allow some withdrawal, we'll draw, or read to you right now. Also, I think tonight, um, let me open, because I think tonight, uh, if you're watching me here live, if you're not watching live here, probably will catch me later. If you're gonna catch me later, probably the video will already be here, depending on the day you're watching this video. I am doing a live, maybe I will do a live tonight, I'm not sure. To go through with you guys, if you guys like, leave me in the comments here, I might do, uh, I might do um, a watching list review here in some of the coins that I watch. Uh, there's plenty of coins that I watch here. Let me just let me just sign in here. Um, uh, let me just check here and put this here. And come on, yes, correct. Uh, I am in just to show you guys. I have a watching list here. Where is it? When it goes here, if I open here, I have a watching list that I have a look, you know, I have a hex and post chain list. Of course, there is no many uh, uh, ecosystem is not there yet, but I have some here. Um, and I also have game tokens. I have bear market list. I have deflationary low inflation coins. But maybe tonight I might do a live only on or talk about coins and stuff like this. Uh, I think it, it should be very very interesting oh this is about the ethereum 2.0 release um it's morning for me guys so good morning for everybody who is arriving here now remember to smash the like button and to subscribe to the channel become part here of the family and help me to grow my communities of course so ethereum point two release date Ethereum 2.0 is the highly anticipated upgrade for the Ethereum. 
bear in mind that this will not make gas fee price to go lower, okay? Gas fee, gas fee price will probably stay the same. The only thing I'm changing here is the proof from proof, proof of work to proof of stake. So we are the updated called Serenity will include the shift in mining from proof of work to proof of stake that will come with the Ethereum marriage. The marriage itself is a massive shift in Ethereum. However, the Serenity upgrade will be just as significant. Here is when Ethereum 2.0 is expected to release. Um, the full release of the Ethereum 2.0 is not estimated to happen until at least 2003. Following the first phase launch in 2020, the Serenity update has seen many delays since its announcement. So it's unlikely we will see it before the end of this, this year. The Ethereum marriage will serve as the next step towards the Serenity upgrade. The marriage will begin its first steps on September 6 and will conclude before September 20. So by 20th of September is when it's concluded, right? Probably. The Ethereum 2.0's upgrade release date it is still tentative. Pending any further delays, in interview with the Bankless podcast, Vitalik described the current progress on Ethereum 2. I would say it is around 50%. It will, uh, it would be willing, I, uh, I would be willing to go past 60 once the marriage is fully completed. And I'll be willing to go past 80% once we have full sharding implementation. So as you can see here, after the, the marriage concludes and happen, he will be saying that the, the whole, um, the whole Serenity uh, update will be 60% concluded after this marriage. Serenity is currently live on the test net, but we will have to continue waiting for an official release date of the whole, the whole thing. Okay. Um, what's going on around the open sea? What's going on around with NFTs? Open sea turns into NFT ghost town after daily volume plugged 99% from peak. Imagine, huh? And now we need to see if this is actually a good opportunity, maybe for you to start, um, maybe to see opportunities in the, in the NFTs area, if NFTs is something that you like. So, uh, ongoing debt crisis. Crisis at lending platform bent down is also increasing the risk that NFTs bubble will burst. Open see the world's world's largest non fungible token NFTs. Marketplace has witnessed a substantial drop in daily volume as fear about potential market bubble growth. My God, I think I have a hiccups. OpenSea volume plummets to early lows. Notably, the marketplace proceeds nearly $5, 5 million worth of NFTs transaction on August 28, appro approximately 99% lower than its record high of 505.75 million on May 1st, according to the DAP Radar. Meanwhile, on a monthly time frame, OpenSea volume has dropped 90%. I'm not really surprised because of this. I mean, we are, in the end of the day, we are in a bear market, right? From January 2022, peaks of approximately 4.85 billion in ETH, in ETH terms. The monthly drop, it seems, period around 82% according to the Dune. The massive decline in daily and monthly volume coincides with the equally drastic drop in OpenSea users and their transaction. This suggests that the value and interest in blockchain-based collectibles have diminished in recent months. That is far visible in the falling floor price, the minimum amount one is ready to pay for an NFT. 
of leading digital collectible projects. For insane, the floor price of Board Ape Yacht Club dropped by 53% to 72.5 ETH on August 28th. And the all time high was 153.7 ETH on May the 1st. NFT bubble is bursting. NFT price are quoted in the native currency of the blockchain on which they are launched. So a digital collectible created on the Ethereum is purchased in ETH, Ether, uh, which also means that NFT price will fall if the ETH market's valuation plummets. A bearish ETH market appears to be one of the primary drivers behind the poor NFT, NFT's statics, statistic. Notably, that the price of one ETH has fallen from 4,950 in November to below 1,500 in August. The Bandau votes to improve NFT liquidity. The Bandau is a platform where you can um, put your NFTs collateralized and you can borrow or lend or borrow money from them. A decentralized autonomous organization that enables NFT owners to collateralize the digital collectibles to take loans in ETH worth 30%, 40% of the NFT's floor price. Voted to change this protocol code to make its NFT's collateral more liquid. The vote occurs after rise in ETH price increased the value of ETH domin dominated loan in dollar terms. Meanwhile, on the other hand, NFT price plumbed, reducing the value of the collateral held by the band DAO. Yeah, man, things are. What do you guys think about NFTs? Do you guys like NFTs? Do you believe NFTs is something that maybe? Let's open here a little bit so I can speak to you guys. Let me see. Is NFT something that you guys? I do have some NFTs as well. Um, I, in fact, last week I, I purchased two blue t blue tip NFT that on the old time high there were three ETH or two ETH uh, floor price. And I got them for a 0.0.5 ETH for $74, $70. So it's, it's, it's money that I'm willing to, to lose. If I lose, it's, I mean, $200 is not going to make a difference in my life. But if it goes back to the old time high, I can make some nice, nice uh, um, profits on these NFTs. But you need to be careful because it will nfts will go back to the old time highs nft is something that will explode again so you need to keep your eyes open for those opportunities there's plenty of opportunities now in the market especially in bear market as we see it at the moment as you can see here as well celsius files the reopen will draw for a minority of customers so just um um, through here on the Celsius has uh, Celsius has mentioned for 50 million worth of the total 225 million held in the custody program and will withhold accounts to be released to owners. Beleaguered crypto lender Celsius Network has filed a motion with the United States Bankruptcy Court yesterday to allow customers with digital assets held in certain accounts to be withdrawn. There is a catch though, however as the motion will only apply to custodians and we hold accounts and for custodians assets worth seven seven thousand five hundred and seventy five or less in value so if you have more forget about you not take your money out celsius has structured the custody and we, we hold accounts which essentially serve as storage wallets in a way that still enables users to maintain legal ownership of the cryptocurrency this on this ownership however is not extended to assets held in accounts that offers annual crypto earning or borrowing service earning in borrower accounts the community response to the motion has been mixed with creditors happy that sales network has consent funds held in custody program and we held we hold accounts likely do constitute properly in this in in the states but however, as tweeted by Bank to the Future CIO, the community believes that the amount sales once you release is far short of, of what is equitable. Remember, guys, uh, Richard Hart said this a lot actually. It's not your keys, it's not your money, it's not your token. 
And in fact, that's one of the main reasons as well I would like to do this video I'm doing today about a wallet, which I will come to you. There is eight best crypto wallets in September. Um, I think it's, imp it's important um, for you to keep your eyes always open. And remember this, if it's not your key, is not your money. It doesn't matter how you protect your funds and your crypto. You always should have a wallet. Some people only use computer. I don't have, for example, myself, I don't have a hard a hard wallet software, you know, a hard wallet where this is my hard wallet, this is my hard wallet, and I keep with me. And whenever I connect to my, which would be definitely a very, very good thing, a ledger, right? But there is other ways that you can keep your, your let's say, if you have your MetaMask, like I can use my own, my computer only, one small computer only for crypto. And then all that's is safe. There is a um, uh, protection there. And one thing that it, I will talk about the wallets when it comes to it, I think I have another two news, but it's not your keys, not your coins. You, you cannot give your password. I mean, this is this basics of security. Don't give your house keys to, for, to a stranger, basically. People go inside, they're going to steal you, all right? Anyway, we're going to go back to the security in a minute. Um, let me carry on here with the news, and uh, we'll go back to you guys. So Cardano get listed on Robinhood, uh, but ADA bulls are running out of steam, risking 40% drop. I still believe that coins will be dropping, Cardano included, when Bitcoin's hit the all time, you know, the bottom. Um, I see that people who would like to DCA in, in projects such as Cardano, XRP, whatever you may like. I think it's a good opportunity uh, for you to wait a little bit, wait for the big drop, and then uh, start to DCA in uh, and put your money in, in projects that you believe, right? So the Cardano market has witnessed back-to-back -back piece of good news since August 31st from its listing on Robinhood at the US-based retail investment platform to the release of its first lending and borrowing protocol, Ada Finance. Very interesting. Additionally, Cardano developer um, stated that they are close to clinching three critical mass indicator that would lead to the launch of the long waiting Vasio hard for in September. We just saw this new before the September 22 is this new scheduled date. Vasio aims to improve Cardano's scalability and transactions throughput through pipelining. The upgrade could also improve the decentralized applications, DAP and smart contract capabilities by changing the Bluetooth script a programming language used to smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. So it seems very interesting, guys. Um, interesting news here on the Cardano. Cardano, it is a coin that I hold myself as well. Um, and I believe it's a very, 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 very interesting. So let me just fix the news here. Next one, <laughs> don't know if you guys heard of this. Imagine you wake up in the morning, you have a cup of coffee, you go to check your wallet and accidentally crypto.com has sent 7.7 7 million dollars to you <laughs> that's <laughs> so accidentally crypto.com sent 7 million to customers suit seven months later to get it back of course they would do that cryptocurrency exchange crypto.com accidentally transferred about 7.26 million to a customer account but did not notice the error for seven months imagine this the crypto company has now sued the customer to recover the funds the australian supreme court of victorian released a default judgment friday in case where crypto exchange accidentally transferred more than 10.47 million um, australian dollar to a customer account the crypto firm made claim against eight def defendants, including blah, 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 let's say external crypto notes an error when an audit was performed in December 2001 and subsequently filed a lawsuit against the customer and related parties to recover the transferred fund. What would you do? What would you do if you had received seven million in your account? I, I don't know what you would do. I would um i would for crypto uns, 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 sometimes my english get out of the window unsuccessfully 
successfully, unsuccessfully. Try to freeze Gangadori bank account in March. Friday's default judgment order Gangador to pay the crypto firm 1.35 million sells the property and pay interest calculate from March 1 to the date of the judgment. So the guy paid 1.35 million, but he still kept <laughs> he still kept some of the money. I think. Oh my god. I don't know what he would do, but I surely, me, it's because of it's my principles, okay? I would have contact uh, crypto.com and I would speak to them and say look i have this money in my account uh i have transferred that to a hard wallet <laughs> and i would um I, I don't i mean i would go back i would give back because it's not my money all right it's my principles i wouldn't be able to sleep knowing that i stole the money because it doesn't belong to you and if and doesn't belong to you and you, you know where the money actually came from if you find a bag of money on the street you don't know where the money came from or from who the money came from so you claim it but if you know where the man the money came from you speak to them and say i'm um, I, I got this money here i would like to see if it's yours let's speak and uh, i would give back um and of course would be very generous from the exchange or from whoever received that amount of money back to give a compensation to the person who gave the money back. I think that would be that would be nice. So, but either case, I would have given back myself because it's not mine. It never were. Okay. Um, okay, now this is very interesting. I found this here in the ultra very interesting, especially for people who are starting crypto and don't really know what's going on, the nomenclature, the names, the terms used in crypto and so on. And I said, you know, I'm going to do this so I can cut after this part or time frame or, st or time stamp on my uh, video so people can actually go there and have a look and see how it works, especially people starting now. And sometimes even people being in crypto for a long time, they don't understand the terms. So basically, altcoins is a short for alternative coins a term used to denote any cryptocurrency other than bitcoins airdrop a distribution of free crypto tokens to promote a new project or encourage community adoption bitcoins the world's first and largest cryptocurrency by mark marked capitalization launched in 2009 by a pseudon pseudonymous or an unknown person creator known as satoshi nakamoto blockchain is a type of immutable distributed ledger technology used for recording data bear market a prolonged period of falling price guess where we are now bear market bull market a prolonged period of rising price Guess what we are expecting to happen very soon? A bull market. Not very soon, <laughs> but still. Cardano is a blockchain platform designed to be an alternative to Ethereum. Cardano was developed through a peer review process and implemented certain technologies such as proof of stake in order to be more scalable. Central bank digital currency, a digital version of the government issued fiat currency that managed by a central bank. Keep cryptography the scientific study and practice of encoding and decoding data dApps short for decentralized application autonomous app that operates on distributed network smart contract program that automatically executed says a transaction when a specific conditions are met DeFi, short for decentralized finance collective term for all finance based dApps created on public blockchain digital currency a term of any money that exists purely in digital form and it sends electronically over the internet doge even doge coins have doge coins the native cryptocurrency of the doge coin blockchain a popular blockchain project created around a viral internet meme of a shiba inu dog 
Ethereum, the blockchain that supports the world's second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. The network, the network it's called Ethereum and the actual currency is called Ether. The Ethereum or ETH, né? Ethereum network directly incorporates smart contracts and provides the base for many other digital currents and projects, including decentralized apps, non-fungible tokens, and decentralized finance, DeFi. Fiat, a term for any government issue currency, such as the US dollar or the Chinese yen. FOMO, short for fear of missing out, a popular uh, acronym used to describe anxiety over missing out on potential opportunities. Inter very interesting uh, names. FUD, it's what you see now a lot in the market, short of fear, uncertainty, and doubts, commonly used in the crypto space as a label for spreading negative news or information. You see that a lot around the bear market, okay? Gas, the ETH that must be spent as a fee in order to execute a transaction or contract on the Ethereum network. Halving a 50% reduction of mining block rewards for a particular cryptocurrency, a particular cryptocurrency for Bitcoin. These are programmed to occur every four years. Okay, halving. A lot of people ask, but what's halving? Well, a 50% reduction on mining blocks rewards for a particular cryptocurrency. In Bitcoin case, that happens every four years. Um, holdlers. A hold, an in, intentional misspelling of hold. Okay, so it's a misspelling of hold. And common crypto slang term used to promote or describe the idea of never selling crypto. Retro, 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 retroactively designated an initialism for hold or for the dear life basically it's for the diamond diamond hands inflation an, econ an, an economic term for when price of goods and service rise causing the purge power of a fiat currency to fail liquidity a term for describing how easy an asset can be bought or sold in any given price volume and time it's very good to understand those term term, term terminology so when you hear people talking about crypto or whatever, and people's the liquidity of these or the market cap of that, you understand what it meant, what it meant, okay, what it means. Maybe you in crypto read for a long time and this doesn't bother you. But for some people starting now, and a lot of people starting crypto in the bear market as well. So this is something interesting to know. Liquidity, a term to term for describing how easy an asset can be bought or sold any given price, volume, and time. Market cap, a term used to describe the total value of a project, company, or other entity. For crypto market cap, is calculated by taking the current price of a project token and multiplying by the total circulating supply. Mining is the process of using computers, equipment to verify and add new data to a blockchain ledger, as well as add new coins into circulation. NFTs, short for non-fungible tokens. NFTs are digital tokens used to prove ownership of a unique, tangible and intangible item. Private key. This, the next one's here, it's very important for you to know because we're gonna get into our wallet, um, wallet that I'm gonna tell you guys about. So private key, code that proves a person ownership of a crypto wallet and allows the person to access the funds inside. These are things that you do not, absolutely not, 100% share this with nobody not your spouse not your family you keep it safe for you you have control of it don't share with nobody don't send by email don't write on your computer keeping a piece of paper somewhere very very safe so private key you don't give you don't share you don't show nothing do you understand what i'm saying 
or you will lose your funds. Again, private key is private, it's yours, okay? Public key, a code used to create an address so a crypto wallet can receive transaction is different, okay? Private and public. The public key is the code that you, the, is a code used to create an address so a crypto wallet can receive transactions, so where you can receive your funds in these wallets. You have the public key that you can send to somebody who owns you money, whatever, and they will send you some coins on that key. That, that key, it's okay, all right? So, and here, public ledger, a transparent distributed digital record of transactions that can be downloaded by anyone around the world. Sherdy, the other day I was uh, actually check what Sherdy was referred to is splitting a blockchain in, into multiple identical chains called shards. These shards each execute transaction and smart contracts in parallel, making a network more efficient and scalable. So next time you hear the word sharding, you know that's referred to the splitting a blockchain into multiples, okay? Smart contract, a special type of computer program that automatically executes a transaction whenever a predeterminate input in receiving, okay? Um, stable points, a type of digital asset that maintain a stable value by type, by tying it to another asset such as the gold or the US dollar. Token, a subset of cryptocurrency. Tokens are units of value issued by platforms built on top of existing blockchain. Volatility, it's what we see a lot in crypto. A word used to describe how much the price of a crypto token deviates from the average over a given period wallets hardware of software hardware or software okay this is important now because we're going to start to speak about crypto wallets now so hardware or a software that stores a user's private and public keys pair and interfaces with blockchain network right so a whale I hope to become a whale and I hope you also will become a whale. It's a term used to describe investors who hold a large amount of specific cryptocurrency. Okay, ah, just one last news here on, on crypto, but it's about wallets. The LG to launch a crypto wallet, wallet, wallet later this year. Interesting, the reason why I brought this is just to show you how much let me open here. Just to show you how much crypto are getting more and more popular, are getting more and more, um, going more and more to the mass adoption. Big companies, they are creating, like LG, the South Korean electronic giant, is currently develop, de developing a cryptocurrency wallet app that will be launched later this year. The wallet's called Wallipito will be part of a new business phase for the company, which recently abandoned its mobile hardware business and pivot to the software solution. Wallipto will support only Hedera hash graphic asset at launch. Okay, interesting. So see, but the reason why I, brought, I want to bring this was because the, the, we are very early to crypto. And I've been speaking about this. I, sp I did a live yesterday and I spoke about this openly that I believe that cryptocurrency within the next 10 years will explode to the mainstream. It's going to be like huge, huge. And the, if you are watching this video now, it's because you are early to the crypto, unless you are watching this video 10 years later, when my channel here have uh, 1 million subscribers. So in order for me to get to that, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Uh, and thanks so much for being here and support my channel. Uh, I think the crypto will explode, guys. And I like explode. And we are early for so many opportunities right now. Okay. So uh, let's get into it to the crypto wallets. Eight best crypto wallets. I saw this on the money, uh, money.com. 
And they said, I don't have a, um, a live or a video on my channel actually speaking about crypto wallets. I think I have only one video, but I thought I need to do something that is um, to share with the, the to share with the community, to share with you guys. Crypto wallets are essential to for buying, trading, and selling cryptocurrency. Traders need them to store crypto securely, as well as to protect and validate transactions information. Be they hardware or software, also called hot and cold storage. Custom crypto wallets offer traders dedicated solution compared to those from crypto exchange. Read on the learning about the different type of cryptocurrency wallets, how they work and which one you should pick. Some people searching for crypto wallets are looking for a crypto exchange, which is why we have included public.com is the comparison um, table if you are more interested in learning about blah, 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 blah. so our top picks for the best crypto wallets of august 2022 um they have the coinbase wallet best for begins if you are in the united states metamask best for ethereum trust wallet best for mobile ledger nano s plus best crypto hardware wallet electrum best desktop bitcoin wallets blue wallet best mobile bitcoin wallet exodus desk best for desktop and crypto.com best for DeFi wallets i'll tell you the ones i use as well okay because i don't have a hardware wallet and if i was if i was to use i it was gonna be either the ledger nano s plus or the treasures but i'll tell you guys as well so uh best crypto wallets reveal well, the pros and the cons, I believe it is important to bring those, those informations. Pros, user-friendly interface that's easy to navigate, supports more than 40,000 digital assets, much signatures and two-factor authentication support, backed by reputation trade platform, um, able to recoup lost or stolen assets. Coins, the contrast. Similar security issue and weak points of uh, as all their hot storage alternative only available on mobile and tablet device, except for Chrome's extension. So these they are talking about. Wait, these are. Uh, this is the Coinbase. Okay, 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 okay. Let me get here. So this here is for for the Coinbase wallet. Why we choose it? The Coinbase. We chose Coinbase wallets as the best crypto wallet for beginners because it's intuitive and highly secure wallets backed by a well-known exchange. So it's backed by a uh, exchange. I particularly don't have Coinbase wallets myself. In fact, I don't live in the United States. I live in Europe. So I don't use that. Uh, what I use, I can tell you here, I use Metamask. I use um, Exodus. On my desktop, I use um, uh, Crypt.com for my device on my wallet, on my phone, and I am planning to buy Ledger Nano or Trezors, okay, for core for for storage. Um, as the best crypto wallet, Coinbase Wallet is an excellent wallet for beginners with little to no experience with crypto. The app connects to most major bank accounts and the user interface was designed to be intuitive and easy to navigate with a simple three-tab layout and clearly identifiable function. Coinbase wallets can store popular coins such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and Ripple, as well as ERC20 tokens and token on EVM compatible blockchain, which amounts to more than 45,000 support digital assets, one of the biggest number on our list. It's important to make a distinction between the Coinbase Exchange and the Coinbase Wallet. The Coinbase Exchange is one of the oldest and most well-known crypto trading platform in the US. Holding your digital assets on the exchange web wallet makes it easier to trade, but leaves your coins exposed to more dangerous cybersecurity threats. The Coinbase wallet may be used without opening an account with the exchange. It's non-custodial meaning the private key is stored in your device. 
not in Coinbase servers. This means you don't need to worry about your currency being locked for any reason or exposed in any cyber attack on the website. This is interesting. All the highlights include, let's see the highlights here. It's not highlight, but let's highlight for them. Uses the security, uses the secure enclave chip available in Android, iOS, iPad, and Mac device to provide biometric authentication. Face ID and Touch ID provide access to decentralized exchange in app, which can convert tokens without any intermediary intermediaries. Offers op optional cloud backup to protect your digital keys. Interesting. Uh, pros and cons. The pros is intuitive interface design on browser exchange and app can be linked to NFTs marketplace, support thousands of dApps, and the contrasts are fees to buy if can be high and cannot oops, and cannot and cannot directly store Bitcoins. Okay, this is um, for Coinbase wallets. Okay, you guys can see them. Uh, next is MetaMask. Okay, why we choose it? We chose MetaMask as the best crypto wallet for Ethereum because its user-friendly interface provides quick and easy access to thousands of tokens and decentralized apps within the network, within the Ethereum network. MetaMask is one of the most widely used Ethereum wallets with over 30 million monthly active users. This may be due to it's easy of use and accessibility. The wallet has an attractive and a straightforward design for beginners investors looking to store and send Ethereum co compatible cryptocurrency and interact with decentralized apps like the dApps. MetaMask is also notable for its compatibility with other blockchain solutions. Users can add almost any blockchain network to the app the wallets fully support popular Web3 network, including Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, and Avalanche. Users can also access popular NFTs marketplace like OpenSea and the Swap, a variety of collectible by connecting them directly on the wallets. Anyone using Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla, Firework, all the browsers, you can also download the MetaMask app on your mobile, Android, and Apple device. These are the highlights here, includes these. Let's highlight for them because they didn't. As you can see here, Meta, I have MetaMask here, see? I have MetaMask on my Chrome. Built on open source code, which allows developers and security experts to review the software to make sure it's secure. Account information in encrypted and stored locally. No information ever touch the MetaMask server, which means users have full control of the private key. That's good. Quickly swap between layers one and layer two uh, and layer two Web3 solutions. The pros and contras support a vast range of coins and tokens, earn interest on, uh, on one of 12 different cryptos, simple and easy to use interface built in Web3 browsers. Cons owned by Binance, who has faced regular issue in the US, Educational uh, resource on coins and token are limited. Now I don't understand here if those pro and cons are from the above cons. So I think because it starts here, né? the pros and contras of the Coinbase, and then we read the pros and contras for MetaMask, and now is the pros and contra for Trust Wallet, which is the next. We chose Trust Wallet as the best crypto wallet for mobile. Because its feature, it cleans, scalable users interface, builds its support for dApps and NFTs, and the large number of supports are set on our list. Trust Wallet is a popular mobile online crypto wallet and the official mobile app of Binance, one of the lending, the leading cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Despite its link to Binance, the wallet is non-custodial, which means it does not keep your private key and the user is responsible for safeguarding them. It supports over 40 blockchains, which is how it's able to store such a wild variety of digital assets, over 160 
thousand coins in token. Wow, the largest number on our list. Trust wallets is also a great mobile option for NFTs and decentralized app enthusiasts. The wallet has a built-in Web3 browsers allowing users to access dApps and blockchain games directly through the app. This feature makes buying NFTs easier as users can look, purchase, and store tokens using the incorporated decentralized exchange, all without leaving the app. Uh, interesting integration integration with the binance dex lets users to buy large number of token with debit or credit cards ah nice uh this is the trust wallet among the highest rate cryptocurrency mobile wallets on both apple google marketplace all right now i don't want to visit the site this is uh, pros and cons for Ledger Nano Plus. Installed up to 100 app in the same time. Buy and sell crypto directly through the Ledger Live app. Verify all transactions with two button press, compatible with 50 other hardware wallets. And the contracts are more expensive than its original entering level wallet. Custom operation, operating system is not open source. One thing that I need to say about hardware wallet is you must be um, at some point, depending. Uh, Agenda 69, great, inf especially to those new to the space. Yes, brother, that's one of the reasons why I would like to do this today. I saw this and I said, you know, I haven't seen someone explain about the wallets. And, um, and I think it's very important. It's important for people starting now in this space and for people who sometimes are on this space already and don't really pay attention to, to, to those small things, right? So uh, I think it's very important. Thanks very much for being here to support the channel and to stay with me here to make me company in the morning. Thank you so much. So why choose the ledger? Well, as the best crypto hardware wallet because it's large number of supported assets tight security framework and trading capabilities through the integrated Ledger Live app. Ledger is one of the most well-known brands in the crypto space with hardware wallets that are popular choice among crypto enthusiasts. Its product stands out for using a secured element component, a type of chip often seen on passports, credit cards, and payment system to provide an extra layer of security. So if you definitely, if you have a lot of um, if you are a whale, if you have a lot of investment in the crypto world, in the crypto space, definitely you should be looking for um, getting a hardware wallet. Okay, its first wallet, the Nano S, was up, upgraded in April 2022 to the Nano S Plus, which came with a improved display, much greater than stored capabilities, and a USB-C cable port. This upgrade to the Ledger Nano S made an already strong entry-level product, even more enticing when compared to the biggest brother, the Ledger Nano X. The wallet cost $83, a convenient price point that sits comfortably between cheaper and more expensive alternatives available in the market today. Moreover, it's measured 2.2 inches, 0.36 inches, and feature uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, other highlights includes, they didn't highlight, but we highlight for them here. The first and only hardware wallet of its kind to be certified for security by government agents in ledger cases by the French cybersecurity agents. The Ledger Life app, which can be used to monitor, lend, and stake crypto in addition to buy and sell it digital assets. Like I said before, I like um, Ledger. I think it's um, something to look to look for it, especially if you are holding a large amount of crypto. It's very important. Okay, uh, this other. Um, uh, this is the ledger, by the way. This one here, the Nano X, the Nano X Plus, which is 79 euro. It shows me in euro because I am in Europe. Uh, in the Nano X, um, it's very interesting and definitely, guys, something to keep your eyes. Keep your eyes 
on it if you're planning to stay in crypto for a long time, okay? Um, Electrum, I don't know this, this wallet, but well, the pros of this one is fast and easy to set up, great security than other hot wallets, customizable transaction fees, wallets don't suffer downtime thanks to the server configuration. The contrast is set up and interface not ideal for beginners. No customer support via chat, email, or phone. So basically, if there is no customer support and something happened, you are screwed. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't choose this for this purpose alone. We we chose Elect as the best Bitcoin wallet because it's intense, intensive security features and high degree of customer customer customizability customizability you can customize founded in 2011 electron is one of the oldest and most well-known crypto wallet today so they should put somebody to do the support it's also one of the few remaining crypto wallets that only deals with bitcoins a currency that electron is uniquely outfitted to support Okay, so these are Bitcoin maximalists. The wallet hosts a variety of robust security features, including 2F, 2, 2FA, transaction proofs, checking, and mode signature wallet support. Moreover, users can adjust the fees depending on how long they are willing to wait for a transaction to be completed. Play, pay more in fees, and your transaction will be executed faster. One of the wallet's greatest assets is that use uses a use a lightning or lightweight client. Light clients can be set up in a matter of minutes and take up less space than trans traditional wallet clients on your computer by using simple pay payments verification SPV. The wallet only downloads part of the blockchain, which speeds up transaction without compromising security. And the highlights for this are open source wallet which means the code is available for scrutiny helping to build trust with customers support both stands the term the term account and hierarchical the term hd account integration with hardware wallets keep key ledger treasures for code storage and then the blue wallets modern design with accessible user interface Support both in, on in, uh, chain and lightning transaction. Create or import multiple wallets, multi signature votes for added security. The cons no two factor authentication. Advanced tools could use in app tutorials. Okay. We chose Blue Wallet as the best Bitcoin wallet for mobile because it's feature rich mobile app, simple user interface, and integration with the lightning network. Blue Wallet is an excellent alternative for Bitcoin traders who can't or don't want to make sense or more complex software on the desktop computer. It's similar to Electron that they are both Bitcoin only wallets, which means they can focus entirely on innovating and improving the Bitcoin experience on the platform. The wallet's interface is welcoming and easy to navigate for beginners, but the app also includes a number of additional features that more advanced use may appreciate. In addition to basic functionality like sending, receiving, and storing BTC, Blue Wallet allows users to send batch transaction customized fees and establish a Tor, a Tor connection for enhanced privacy. Another big advantage of Blue Wallet is integrating with the Lightning Network, a layer to solution that makes peer-to-peer -peer payments much faster than on Bitcoin layers. One network helps to think that the Lightning Network as an expressway that sits on top of the regular Bitcoin blockchain. Interesting. This is more interesting than the other one, I think. Uh, watch only wallets. Watch only wallets, which lets users keep an eye on the code storage without interacting with the private key. Okay. Plausible. Deniability, deniability, a blue wallet feature that allows users to establish a different password that will crypt, decrypt a fake wallet setup. Okay. And uh, two more. This one here, 
Exodus. I use, by the way, I have, it's uh, one of the wallets that I use myself. Again, nothing here is sponsored, okay? I don't have a sponsor on the wallets. In fact, if the wallets would like to sponsor my channel, you are welcome. Anybody, uh, if you are um, a, pro a protocol, a platform, whatever, you'd like to sponsor the channel, please get in touch with me on Twitter. That will help me so much. Plus, for people who are watching this video and would like to donate anything to my channel, there is on the description of this video, you can see um, some uh, wallets that you can help me by donate anything that you like. That will help me so much because, of course, I don't monetize the channel yet. And with donation, I can improve the quality of my um of my channel, you know, getting better camera, better software to to better edit the videos, a better computer, better this, better that, as we need. All right. Um, so this crypto wallet here support over 225 crypto assets compatible with Trezor's One and Trezor's T hardware wallets, allows users to buy Bitcoin with Apple Pay 24 seven customer support. The cons are higher, higher transaction fees on the in wallets crypto exchange lack of native two-factor authentication may bother some users and no multiple signature support uh why we chose it we chose exodus as the best crypto wallet for desktop so i can show you guys here if you see here on my thing can you see here this is the exodus wallet the exodus wallet and the DeFi. Crypto.com DeFi wallets, which is the both I have both here on my on my desktop. By the way, uh, where are where are we? Where are we? We are here. Um, brum, the best crypto wallet for this because of the speed its its transaction is to use and the variety functionality of its client. Exodus is one of the most visual appealing and intuitive wallets on the market. It, it is true. It's beautiful, by the way. Initially a desktop only wallet, Exodus now has app for iOS and Android. Um, space auctions, how are you doing, brother? Welcome, good morning. Love the live stream. Keep going. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys who are here. If you are coming back, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so because it will help me so much. And do share the content as well. And um, so the YouTube understands that people are liking the content and they can also help to spread the word. Exodus is one of the most, uh, we talked about this before, uh, uh, compatible. So you can, I have on my phone as well, by the way, uh, an app, as you can see here. And it's also compatible with Trezor's Wallet, a popular hardware wallet brand. Nevertheless, the desktop wallet application available across Windows, Linux, and Mac operation system. It's still the wallet's core offering, and it's updated every two weeks. It is. It's very, guys. It, it, I I do like a lot the, and that's the one of the reasons I have yet I have not yet bought a hardware wallet. Um, one of the Exodus main draws is the number of currency it supports. More than three hundred thirty cryptocurrency assets a large number than many other hot wallets. These include established altcoins such as Ether, ETH, Litecoin, XRP, and Bitcoin Cash, as well as popular main coins like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. The wallets also feature a growing number of apps being released to diversify the wallet's functionality. Include apps for live charts, crypto staking, and crypto deposits. Um, this is the highlights, customizable fees through only for Bitcoin transaction as from September 2021, runs on a light client, meaning it's used simple payment verification and doesn't download complete blockchains in order to speed up transaction. This is the Exodus. The uh, last one here is the pros are choose your preferred trading fees and confirmation speeds over 250 coins including btc ETH, crew atom dot and litecoins earning interest on more than 35 tokens the contra the contrast are funds are inaccessible if you lose your private key and recovery phrase this is every wallet i guess isn't it 
That's what I thought. <laughs> well, built-in token swap has some geo restriction. That's another thing. But I do have on my wallet, on my phone, and on my desktop, as I just showed you there. We chose Crypto.com as the best DeFi crypto wallet because it's a varied variety of decentralized finance tools, excellent onboarding process, and strong security framework. The Crypto.com DeFi wallet is an excellent choice for a user starting the journey into decentralized finance. DeFi wallets give users complete control over their digital asset and private key, which they are responsible for safekeeping. This type of wallet also has features not available for regular custodial wallets, including one-to-one -one crypto swaps and a wide range of tools for users to earn passive income on the crypto they already own. And with other exchanges that feature both custodial and non-custodial wallets, it's important to make the distinction between the two. You can download the Crypto.com DeFi wallet and use it for your day-to-day -day crypto activities without having to create an account on the Crypto.com exchange platform. Consumers should be aware that decentralized finance product, product and service carry a significant risk and should be engaged prudently. The highlights are... Oops several layers of security including biometric authentication two-factor authentication and secured enclave technology on ios device create multiple digital wallets and import other wallets connect to other decentralized apps through the wallet connect tool uh oh and they have the the other crypto wallets we consider remember i told you guys there was two hardware one is the Ledger and the one is Trezors. That's one I was thinking to buy because it connects, has it can connect with the Exodus wallet as well. So I thought it was very interesting. The pros are cho choose between the entering level, Trezors 1 and Trezors Model T, intuitive, convenient interface. The contours are more expensive than other hardware wallets with similar functionality and no support for the iOS device. Along with the Ledger, Trezor is one of the two most well-known brands of hardware wallets in the world of crypto. Developed by Satoshi Labs, Trezor has the first hardware crypto wallet and both of its current models feature excellent security measures and support many assets. Trezor didn't make our top list since the models offered by Ledger's Auto matches the performers its regards to the build and the number of support currency. We still highly recommend the Trezor for one who use the Exodus wallets. That's what I said, right? As the main crypto wallet, due to the native compatibility with the Trezor's device. Uh, my God, they have others here. Uh, I didn't see those ones. Anyway, let's go through them as well. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go back here. Yeah. Another five. So there's, by the way, up to here. Uh, I think we said many, many, many interests. This one, keep key. Uh, I don't know those ones. I don't really know. Okay. So keep key. These are extra, extra wallets, other crypto wallets we consider. So I'm not going to go through them, but there is one called keep key. Another one, atomic wallet, Zengo. Coino, Coinomi, Mycelium, uh, the Crypto Wallet Guide. Blockchain technology has made digital cryptocurrency, digital currency transaction increasingly useful, practical, and accessible. However, the numbers of crypto users has gone up. So has the rate of cyber theft related to cryptocurrency. That's why it's important to understand how to safe keep your crypto by learning about crypto wallets how they work and what they look for in in one whether it's digital or physical and that's the importance of understand the the security and the importance of having crypto wallets okay so what is crypto wallets cryptocurrency wallets or simple crypto wallets are placed where traders store the secure digital codes needed to interact with a blockchain they don't actively actively store your cryptocurrency despite that they name may lead you to believe 
crypto wallets need to, um, to locate the crypto associated with your address in the blockchain, which is why they must interact with it. In fact, crypto wallets are not as much as wallets as they are ledgers. They function are, uh, as an owner identity and account on a blockchain network and provide access to transaction history. So how do a crypto wallet work? When someone sends Bitcoins, ETH, Dogecoin, or any other type of digital crypto into your crypto wallet, you aren't actually transferring any coins. Interesting. What they are doing is signing off a ownership thereof there your wallet address. That is to say they are confirming that the crypto of the blockchain no longer belongs to the address, but yours. Two, two digital codes are necessary for this process, a public key and a private key. A public key is a string of letters and numbers automatically generated by the crypto wallet provider. For example, a public key could look like this. A private key, it's another string of numbers and letters, but one that only the owner of the, uh, the, owner of the wallet should have. In, in this case, you. You own your private key. You don't give that to nobody, like to nobody, to nobody. Your mom asks, can you have your private key? No, I'm sorry. No, it's yours, right? Think of crypto wallet as an email account. To receive an email, you need to give people your email address. This would be your public key in the case of crypto wallets. And you need to share it with others to be a part of any blockchain transaction. However, you would never give, again, you would never give to someone the passwords to access your email account, right? For crypto wallets, that password is the equivalent of your private key, which under no sequence, no, no circumstance should be shared with other person. Using these two keys, crypto wallets users can participate in transactions without compromising the integrity of the currency being traded or the transaction itself. The public key assigned to your digital wallet must match your private key to authenticate any funds sent or received. Once both keys are verified, the balance in your crypto wallet will increase or decrease accordingly. So the type of crypto wallets. Crypto wallets can be broadly classified into two groups, hot wallets and cold wallets. The main difference is that hot wallets are always connected to the internet, while cold wallets are kept offline. Hot wallets. Hot wallets are digital tools whose connection to the internet cannot be served. Severed users can access the piece of software from a phone or desktop computer to monitor the currents and trade them. Some hot wallets are also accessible through the web or browser exchange extension, meaning you can use them on a wide variety of devices. The greatest advantage of a hot wallet is the convenience. The convenience, your public and private key are stored and encrypted on your wallet respective app or website. So unless they are limited to a specific device, you can access them anywhere with an online connection. This is easy of access, makes them ideal for those who trade more often than are considering spending Bitcoins. Because hot wallets are always accessible online, they also face a greater risk of cyber attack. Hackers can exploit hidden vulnerability in the software that support your wallet or use malware to break into the system. This is particularly dangerous to web wallets hosted by crypto exchange, which are bigger targets overall for crypto theft. Uh, one pause for coffee. By the way, I absolutely love coffee. It's one of my favorite drinks by far. And the pros and cons of cold wallet. Highly convenient can be accessed from anywhere with an internet connection. Easy to recover access if you lose the private keys than cold wallets. 
Ah, this is the pros and cons for the hot wallet. The contrast, less secure than cold wallets, vulnerable to a wider variety, variety of attack, and uh, for custodian wallets, your key are kept on the exchange server. Okay, those ones connect to an exchange. Uh, cold wallets. Cold wallets store your digital keys offline on a piece of hardware or sheet of paper. Hardware wallets usually come in the form of a USB drive, which lets you buy, sell, and trade crypto while in connected to a computer. With paper wallets, you can make your, your keys may be accessible via printout QR, co uh, uh, QR codes written on a piece of paper or engraved in some other material such as metal. Cold storage wallets are deliberately designed to be hard to hack unless the wallet owner falls to some sort of phishing attack. Hackers have no way of obtaining the owner's key remotely. For something like a hardware wallet, a TEF would first have to obtain the USB driver used to access your crypto and then somehow crack its password. This high level of security may lend itself to mistaken to the part of the, wa the wallet owner. If you lose your USB driver or sheet of paper and don't have your private key backed up somewhere else, you will have effectively lost access to your crypto. Compared to hot wallets, which make it possible to regain access through seed phrase, recovering, recovering access on a cold wallet is impossible in most cases due to the two key security system the pros and cons of a cold wallet is more secure than hot storage wallets due to offline offline storage many hardware wallets are supported by hot storage wallets the contrast transactions take longer on average uh, nearly impossible to recover cur uh, currency without a backup your digital keys. So basically, security is not only to do where you storage your coin, but also with your own responsibility. You must own, take ownership, responsibility for your coins, basically. Either is keeping your coin safe, keeping your seed phrase, don't share your the majority of the the, the people who lose they is they lose their funds. It's either they lose the wallets or they they lost the the, phrase, the seed phrase, they lose the key, the private key. So it's your responsibility to keep safe as well. How to set up a crypto wallet? Uh, you can I'm not going to go through the step by step here because it's, uh, oh, let's go. We are doing this already anyway, so let's do this. How to set up a crypto wallet. Setting up a cryptocurrency wallet is generally straightforward. Process that takes no more than a couple of minutes. The first step is determine the kind of wallet you want to use since hot wallets and cold wallets have different setup process than you will need to the following, to the following. For hot wallets, download the wallets. MetaMask, Exodus, whatever. Make sure the wallet is legitimate before download any software. Crypto scams are becoming increasingly common and it's important to know if the company behind the wallet actually exists. For web wallets, verify that you are on the correct website, not on a fake version, and build to steal your information. Second, set up your account and secure features. If you are using a non-custodial wallet, this is when you will give your private key a random 12 to, 4 to 24 word string of words. If you lose or forget this, you will not, again, you will not be able to access your crypto. You can enable added security tool like two-factor authentication and biometric during or after the setup process. The process for custodian wallet is a bit more involved and you will have to undergo a, verify, a verification process called KYC or known your customer to validate your identification. Add funds to your wallet. For non-custodian wallets, for non-custodian wallet, you may have to transfer 
crypto for where else has not all wallets allowed you to buy crypto with fiat cards directly. So you maybe some wants you will not for non study, you're not gonna be able to buy with your card. You need to buy somewhere else and then send the crypto to your wallet after that. As for custodian wallets, you will never you will need to fund them using a credit or debit card before you can purchase crypto in some cases. For cold wallets, you purchase the wallet online when you buy a cold wallet, avoid third party resales, buy product directly from the developers to avoid issue such as the device being tampered or with uh, beforehand, whatever. Install the device software, which brands, each brand has its own software that must be installed into the hardware device before it can be used. Make sure to download the software from the company's official website, then follow instructions to create your wallet. Deposit your cryptocurrency. You will need to, tra you will need to transfer crypto into your hardware wallet from elsewhere such as from crypto exchange. Some wallets may have incorporated exchange that allows you to trade crypto while the devices connect your desktop computer or mobile device. What to look for in a crypto wallet? When looking for a crypto wallet, it's very important to find, to first ask yourself, how often do I trade? Will you be trading cryptocurrency daily or just occasionally? Hot wallets are better for active traders due to their speed and prac prac practicality. However, active traders may also benefit from cold wallets by using its kind of saving accounts, keeping their bucks, or their money off the currency there. What do I want to trade? Are you looking to buy and store Bitcoins or you are interested in different types of cryptocurrency like altcoins, stablecoins? The crypto wallet you pick should support the currency you wish to trade and will ideally accommodate any other coins you may want to trade in the future. How much am I willing to spend? How much? How much? Bora, Bora, how much? How can I have? How much? How much I am willing to spend? Are you planning on accumulating large amounts of crypto? Hardware wallets are ideal for this sort of activities, but unlikely. Hot wallets, which are mostly free, they require an upfront payment to own the wallet itself. Some hot wallets have higher crypto trading fees, but offer fast transactions or great functionality. What functionality do I need in a wallet? Do you plan on doing any specific with, uh, with crypto beyond simply trading it? For example, trade who wants to make money with the crypto possibly should look for wallets that allows for crypto lending, staking and deposit. After exploring those above questions, we put together some general suggestions for what to look for, an, for in, any crypto wallet. Support currency, accessible interface, 24-7 customer support, hardware wallet compatibility, compatibility, compatibility. Investing in crypto prudently. Latest new in crypto wallets. The latest new in crypto wallets, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation recently issued a warning to remind investors that crypto deposits are not insured, but by the federal government. Only certain type of deposits, like checking accounts, saving accounts, and certifies of deposits, or CDs, are eligible for uh, FDIC insurance or the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. In a letter to the crypto brokers Voyage Digital, one of the severs who were forced to suspend the withdrawal and trading in the middle of a dire, dire downturn in the cryptocurrency market, the FDIC asked them to stop claiming its customer. Crypto deposits were protected by were protected by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Crypto investors should be as cautious as ever with the assets due to the proliferation of fake crypto app scams. So basically, um, let me open here. This, in fact, I think this was a very, very 
very, very nice life on crypto wallets to explain to you that the importance of security and protect yourself with your investment. Um, like I said before, I don't have a, a cold wallet. Uh, I only use hot wallets, but uh, I use on my desktop. I showed you I have Exodus, I have MetaMask, this and that. And I am planning to buy uh, Trezors as well. In fact, if Trezors would like to sponsor my channel, they are more than welcome here to send me one. And I actually could do a video on it. Um, so I think it was a very nice video on crypto wallets is to, to keep yourself safe and secure. Again, my mission here is to share information about crypto in general, uh, some projects that I love, some projects that I invest, some projects that I believe, because I am a money maximalist. I believe that in the power of money to take you, to give you time, to buy you time. And why I say this? Because people say, that I want financial freedom. And I don't think we are looking for financial freedom. We are looking for more time, to spend more time with your family, to spend more time with your kids, to spend more time with the doing things that you love doing it. And the only way to, to, to do that is having money. So money is not buying you, is not giving you financial freedom, it's, it's giving you time. It's the most precious things that we have in life, time. Right, so that's what it I think is giving us. And in order for you to keep your time safe, you need you need definitely some crypto uh, wallet. So you need to check that out, guys. Uh, one hour and twenty five minutes here together, being so great. It's morning for me here now. In fact, it's a little bit uh, it's already past lunch time. It's so nice to be here. Do you see? I need to update my my camera and setup and software look look my cup is becoming anyway uh, thank everybody for being here with me agenda 69 space auction and other guys uh you guys are awesome thank you so much remember smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you'd like to if you consider to support me you can find here in the description of the video how you do it and I'll see you guys on the next video or in the next live. Maybe I will do a live tonight talking a little bit about some um, watching list that I do in other cryptocurrencies as well. I'll see you guys on the next time.